Hey guys, if this is my intro and you notice that I don't have a full face of makeup on, that means the makeup was so bad at the end that I don't want you guys to see it right now. <laughs> These are products that I have only used once, meaning after I used them that first time, I was like, Ugh, brother, Ugh. like I did not want to touch them again. They were so bad. Not all of them. Some of them were things that I used once and just forgot about. So yeah, if I am starting the video with this, then let's begin. Okay guys, so we gotta go because I am feeling like I'm about to start getting sick and I feel like it's gonna hit me after this video because like my throat feels really bleh and my head feels a little bit hot but um yeah let's get through this video <laughs> so I already put on foundation because I have never had a foundation that I used once and it was so bad that I kept because if a foundation sucks I'm returning it I'm not going to experiment with it but a lot of these were things that I couldn't return and I obviously would because again these are products where I used once and I was just like oh I'm never touching that again the elf one isn't really an example of that I got this along with like five other concealers at the same time so I never really got to use her I think I used her once but I've been grabbing all the other concealers more than her and I don't remember why I don't think she's horrible I got it because I was looking up specifically girls with really bad dark circles and what they used and this came up i feel like it was cakey or maybe the shade was off i'm not sure another example of something i used once and never wanted to again was this makeup sponge from quo that i got in canada i mean honestly most of those products i got in my canadian makeup video a lot of them were products where I used them once and just never want to use them again. I have a few products in here where I used once and I never touched it again. Not because it's horrible, but just because I just never have touched it again. But this was actually inspired by my last video since so many of those eyeshadow sticks were so horrible. If you watch that, you'll see that a lot of them, when I touched them for the first time, I never wanted to touch them and use them again because of how bad that was. And I was like, I have more makeup products like that where I've used once and just never wanted to touch again. But those eyeshadow sticks that I really hated in my last video, they were so bad where I wouldn't even want to give them for free to anyone. I don't remember why I haven't been grabbing this, but I think it's good. Oh, I don't know. I feel like you can still really heavily see my dark circles. So I do not have any setting powders where I used once and never touched again because I don't know how bad one can be where I'd want to just never use it again. There probably is a setting powder that's so horrible. The closest thing I have is a powder. I don't even know why I have powders. I feel like a long time ago I used to use BB cream a lot and then I would set them with a powder so it looked more like a foundation but I've only used this once. Like I don't ever remember why or when I bought this. Before we had the loose setting powders People were just using regular old face powders like this to set their concealer. Ooh, did that change my color? Oh, I think that changed my skin color. Should I just set my whole face now? Okay, you know what? Just to be safe, I'm gonna sweep it all over my face. Just so I'm, I'm one. I'm one shade. That one's not bad. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Again, I've only used it once, not because I don't like it, just because I stopped using pressed powders apparently. Okay, next we're going with this bronzer from Cheekbone Beauty. Again, this is something I got in my Canadian makeup haul. It's not the best. It's a little patchy. I remember saying like it looked kind of green on me. After that video, I just, I didn't want to touch this again. I kind of like the blush. I've mentioned a few times that there are a lot of Facebook pages where people are just giving stuff away for free. And I do that a lot with my makeup where I use one time and I'm like, I don't want this. Whoever wants this, let me know. And then they come pick it up. So yeah, this is one of the products where I would put on there because I'm not putting this in my recycling. Yeah, that's just really hard to blend. Yeah, I feel the... I don't know what I have. I don't know if I have like strep throat. I don't know what my husband had, but he was sick. He still is sick. I think he probably had strep throat. And I think maybe that's what's happening because my throat is like... It feels swollen here. And I feel like I'm starting to have a fever. It's really hot right now. What's wild is my husband's immune system is horrible. He used to get sick maybe like three four times a year and i'm the opposite i didn't get sick for like 10 years when i lived in the philippines i would get sick like crazy i was always getting sick but then when i came to the states like i never got sick so yeah my husband could be coughing and sneezing in my face and i'd be fine but i think this is the first time i caught something that he has i don't know if i want to do blush just yet because i'm debating if i want to use this blush this one i do like 
it's not in the category of like I used it once and like never want to touch again but then I could also use the Juvia's Place I don't think this is horrible it's just I feel like after using it that first time that shade was a little bit too much like I don't know other than a lilac look where I would use this plus it's super thick since it's so thick it's harder to blend but again that doesn't mean I was only gonna use it that one time and never again I think it depends on my eye look and what I think would look best with it I don't think I've ever had a blush where I was just like oh no like I don't want to touch you again okay let's move on to eyeshadow because they are the star and the reason for this video I did not like the winky dazzle eye sticks they were horrible on me I did not like the thrive cosmetics eye brightener this elf one the one that was my least favorite this is one where i'm like i would not give this to anyone it's so bad i don't know why she's here because i'm not going to use her i'm putting her in my recycling box one of these are going to be my eyeshadow and i know it's going to be bad but again like that's the point of this video okay so i have petal prism and then i have mauve mirage so i'm going to put mauve mirage just in the outer third here oh yep Still greasy. I mean, obviously the formula didn't change, but now I remember why I didn't like her. I feel like I can't use a brush with them because they get super patchy. But then if I use my finger to pat them in, my finger just picks up all the pigment and the pigment disappears. I can't win here. I'm gonna put Petal Prism all over the lid. This one I'll probably have to pat on because a brush is just gonna take out all the pigment. Yeah, see, I don't know what to do with these. And you can see like my finger marks because the formula is so greasy. You can see where I pressed in there. So I feel like there's no way of making it one perfect shade. Let's try the Thrive Cosmetics Brilliant Eye Brightener in the shade Aurora. So even though I could technically blame the shade and say like, oh, maybe the shade's so light, that's why it's not showing up on me. The formula itself, I don't know why I wanted to say is stupid. The formula itself is stupid. I mean, I actually don't see the reason of why it's so waxy. I put it on and it doesn't set. Like it doesn't set into a powder. It stays greasy. It stays waxy. Ooh, that looks pretty right there. But yeah, like again, I would not wear this out because I just feel like this would melt all over my eye. But yeah, even if I got another shade that would show up on my eyes more. I don't see the point when the formula is something I really don't like. Yeah, I think this video was just another excuse to use these eyeshadow sticks for one last time before I donate them because I know I'm never gonna use them. Now with eyeliner, this is something I used once and it's not like I didn't like it. I think I actually loved it, but I just, I haven't touched it. I used this for the first time over a year ago and just never grabbed it and it's the Kaja Wink Stamp. I think because since it's a little intimidating and I already like all my other eyeliners that I don't grab it, I want to try it again since I've only tried it one time. Okay. At least it's not too thick. When I used it the first time, it was really black and heavy. But again, I really think it's because the eyeshadow stick is really greasy that it's just like, it didn't stamp on that well. Yeah, see, it's pretty messy. I'm gonna have to try this out again without the eyeshadow on because now I'm wondering if it's just running out of ink because it's been sitting in my bathroom for over a year. And that's also why I don't like the wing stamp because either way, I'm gonna have to fix it up and then like it just gets longer and longer and then ends up getting messy. For me personally, it's not useful. I'd rather draw my wing on. Okay, that was extremely hard to do because one, I tried the eyeshadow stick down here and since it's so greasy, it's mixing weirdly with my eyeliner. So yeah, it looks very great. Two, I can't really draw a nice cat wing here in the inner corner with the Thrive Cosmetics. Three, again, I had to keep fixing the eyeliner from the stamp because it just kept getting worse and worse and I had to keep fixing it again. Do you see how bad that is? Look at that. And see, like, when I was putting on my eyeliner, it was, like, slipping off because of how greasy both the Thrive and the Kaja is. Okay, next let's do brows. It's so funny because when I used this for the first time in my celebrity makeup look, I said I actually might recommend this. But when I tried it again, it was so bad. I think because when I tried it in my celebrity makeup look, I was very careful putting it on. But when I tried it again, one, it's way too dark for me. Two, like it's so thick. This is a Florence by Mills eyebrow pencil in the shade dark brown. But this is so thick. Like even when I try to angle and it looks like I'm going here, it goes even lower. First I was like, oh, maybe because I'm not used to, I've never had an eyebrow pencil 
that was angled like this so i was like okay maybe i'm just not used to it but then i got the rare beauty one and it's also angled but i love her this works perfectly she's the perfect amount of creaminess not too creamy because if she was creamier she would just spread like this one does oh yeah now looking at both of them oh yeah look how thick the millie one is compared to rare beauty i'm gonna use her for the last time right now and again probably donate her i get that angle and it looks like i'm putting it in the perfect spot but then when i do that it actually like comes down here so again i'm gonna try to be careful i also think since it's really dark brown it looks very harsh on my eyebrows and since it's so thick i can't really nicely draw the lines right here see kind of like that it looks like i'm going there but and then i go lower you can see that right I did not mean to go down there. My point is she used the messiest eyebrow pencil I've ever used. Also something I used from the celebrity makeup video is the Flower Beauty Fiber Fix Brow Gel. One, it's too light. When I was trying that on, I was like, okay, maybe this would work perfect to balance it out because this is too light and that's too dark brown. But she pumps out so much liquid and I notice I'm always cleaning her up. Like I have to wipe her off. When it comes to eyebrow gels, she's the last one I would grab in my collection. See now look how dark brown it is compared to this. So yeah, I feel like if I used the Florence by Mills one, I need to use this to balance it out because this is like, oh, okay, I feel like I have a fever coming through. Probably take a really hot bath after this. I'm so pissed. I mean, there's no magic cure but I've always watched so many TikToks and Instagram videos of like, oh, if you start getting sick, you know, drink this tea, take these herbs, you know, stuff like that. And yesterday when I felt it coming, when my throat started feeling weird, I remember this TikTok I saved. I'll put it right here. When you guys start to get sick symptoms like that scratchy throat or a sneeze or a cough, there's actually a miracle remedy that can help within literally a day or two. But literally all you do with this oil of oregano, you guys, once you start to feel any symptoms, scratchy throat, cough, sneeze, just take I took it twice yesterday, I took it this morning, and throat. I'm like, uh, bitch, what are you talking about? I'm like, this did nothing. When someone says miracle product, it sounds very sketchy, but I was down to try it because I didn't want to get sick. But yeah, I'm like this oil of oregano. Like, I'm like, I don't, I don't feel better. And I've been drinking this tea. Let me find it. I'm a skin nutritionist and I'm going to show you different ways that teas or herbs can heal your body. Echinacea is a potent immune stimulating herb. Take this as soon as you feel a cold coming on. I've been drinking this tea last night and this morning and I'm like, girl, I'm always trying the stuff that people say like, oh, take this, like as soon as you start feeling sick, take this, I took that, like I'm down to try whatever, but I'm like, guys, that you failed me because neither of those worked. <laughs> so let me try the highlight first before I figure out which blush to do. And it's this Makeup Revolution Bright Light Highlighter in the shade Strobe Champagne. I bought it because of this YouTuber I like talking about it. Came home, tried it, and I was like, uh, no. I don't remember why I hated it, why is it not opening? Dude, is it like stuck? Okay. So this is another product. I'm not going to name who, but there's this YouTuber. I love her. But every time I buy something she recommends, frankly, I, I really, really don't like them. They work horribly with my skin and it's crazy because we both have oily skin. But nine out of 10 times, whatever I buy that she recommends, I hate it. And it's funny because the stuff I love, I notice she hates. But yeah, this was on her list of something she really liked and I immediately went to Ulta and got it. Hello? Anybody? Okay, it's very patchy kind of sticking to one area. Ooh, that's like really blinding right there. So yeah, when I tap it out, it spreads in a really weird way and it's very patchy. My Charlotte Tilbury wand, she spreads beautifully. When I put her on, it's like very streaky and like all over the place. I think I can make her work, okay. So she's probably the only one I'm probably gonna still keep at the end of this video. Okay, do you see this? You see how my eyeliner is, it's, it's, ugh. it's because of the waxy Thrive Cosmetics. Let me put some here, but yeah, I don't know, something about it, it's just like, it's not smooth compared 
to the Charlotte Tilbury. When I tried it the first time, like I just don't want to touch it again. But okay, she gets a pass. She's the only one out of this group where I don't mind trying her out again. I just really don't like the ones with those weird puffs because it's so unhygienic. And like, I can't close her. Look how messy like and sticky she is from glue that was on there. Okay, so for blush, I'm just gonna go in with the cheekbone beauty one because I have a feeling after this video, I'm never gonna use this again. So I might as well use her one last time. Oh, now I like it. I mean, honestly, I would take this over the Juvia's Place lavendery lilac one because again, that's not a shade I just would really wear. Am I gonna have to keep her? Do I like her just because she looks pretty mixed with the highlight? Like, okay, I think this was gonna be the hardest part of all because I don't think I've ever had a lipstick where I tried it once and I'm like, yeah, I never wanna touch that again. But I noticed that all of my Anastasia lipsticks, I've never touched any of these. I don't ever feel the need to. I don't know what it is. I don't think it's the formula. I think I got this during a Black Friday haul and I just never touched them. And I know this was long before COVID because before COVID I was doing crazy looks and I'm sure that's the only reason I got these shades. Something about these, I don't gravitate to them. I always go for my Lime Crime or my Sugar Pill liquid lipsticks, but these just, I don't know, they look a little boring to me. That looks a little bit too dead vampire. I'm trying to like match it to here. Okay, maybe. That's, it's all purpley. Okay, pinky. Oh, that's too bright. Her? Her. formula is actually really nice. I'm shocked that it's been sitting in my room for at least five years like untouched and it's still really liquidy and hasn't dried out. The majority of my liquid lipsticks dry out so fast, especially when they're laid down horizontally. I notice they dry out way faster than if you store them vertically. Okay, um, sure, why not? Let me clean her up. <laughs> Okay, you know what? That color doesn't look horrible. Seriously, it's like a really pretty deep purple blue. I never thought I would like that color, but if I was gonna use a lipstick I've used once and then never again, it'd probably be this shade because I mean, honestly, I would probably just be using this for one makeup look and that's it. But her, no, I would use her again. I actually really like that. She would be so pretty during fall. I'm gonna have to go take a really hot bath because I just feel the heat from my body. But yeah, see? Look at my eyes. That's exactly what happens with so many of my eyeshadow sticks. They like clump up and just make some weird thick greasy line like that. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm probably gonna go take a really hot bath and hopefully whatever I have doesn't get worse. Thank you guys so much for watching my video and I'll see you in the next one.